When God made Adam and Eve, God told them very specifically, Of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day thou eatest thereof thou shalt surely die. They received instructions, Leave the tree of the knowledge of good and evil alone. But the very fact that God said, Of every tree of the garden thou mayst freely eat, he is telling them, I can sustain you with all these other trees. There is no need for you to eat of this particular tree. Leave it alone. You may be sustained by all the other trees. God also introduced the concept of the Sabbath, Genesis 2, 1 to 3. God had made seven days, and God wants us to understand, do not touch mine. I can sustain you during six days of the week. There is no need for you to work or to do anything that generates income on the seventh day. That day is reserved for me as verily as the tree of the knowledge of good and evil was reserved for God and was not to be touched. My listening friend, God can sustain you and provide all you need Sunday through Friday. There is absolutely, and I repeat the word, there is absolutely no need for you or for me to work on the Sabbath day. The God who made all seven days will provide for you Sunday to Friday. The God who made all the trees was able to sustain Adam and Eve from the other trees without the first couple having to tamper with God's reserved tree. Remember the Sabbath day, keep it holy, in it thou shalt not do any work. Sabbath keeping, therefore, is a tremendous exercise of faith. In this modern life, and perhaps in all other ages of human history, there are so many things we think we want, that we have to work seven days to get them, and having gotten them, to maintain them. But this is not the case. When we trust God, when we lean in total confidence on His promises, we live by the assurance that God will take care of the person who obeys Him, and who obeys Him strictly who obeys him microscopically. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy, hands off the Sabbath, as verily as God told Adam and Eve, hands off the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and as verily as he tells us, hands off the tithe, that which is reserved for God, let us respect it highly, because we serve a God who is able to take care of us super abundantly when we respect that which is his and for this occasion for the purpose of this message that which is his is the seventh day sabbath my listening friend as you keep the day holy may the lord bless you and may the lord fill you with the reassurance that he will take care of you and there is no need for you to place your hand of work upon the holy day happy sabbath and god bless you